Hi there, my name's Anil and I'm a business coach. And today I want to share with you an AI tool that I've been playing with over the last few days. It's called Sintra AI. Um, and I'll uh, share that with you in a minute. But, uh, but for those that don't know me, uh, I um, have a couple of business coaching brands. One's called the Profit Coach and the other one's called Family Business Success. Uh, and I basically um, work with a lot of family businesses, help them uh, develop strategies to grow their business, to obviously get more harmony and, uh, and collaboration with the team. Uh, I'm an accountant by training, so, uh, so the numbers are very important. Uh, and my focus is really around the numbers and you know, business management disciplines and, and, and better structure around a business. Uh, so, so let me just share with you uh, my screen and I'll take you through Sintra AI. Okay, so as, as you can see, this is the public page, um, and this is the website, Sintra.ai. Uh, and you can't really tell much from the public page what it does, but it's effectively saying that you can employ these AIs to help you in your business. Okay, so I'm going to share with you my actual account and what I've been doing and how I have... Uh, you know, what I what I think of Sintra uh, after a few days of using it. And I have spent a lot of time uh, on it. So it's, uh, even though it's been a few days, I've spent a lot of time just learning about it and uh, and working out, you know, whether or not it's worthwhile. So um, so I'm going to share with you first the, the setup that they take you through. So when you create an account, they will ask you about your business. Uh, and as you can see here, I've put in my two brands, the Profit Coach and Family Business Success. And I explained to it that I have two brands within the same coaching business. So it, it actually has understood that. And, and when you do the setup, it asks you all sorts of questions about your business. Obviously, what your business does, the types of customers that you work with, um, you know, what sort of programs you have, what sort of services, products, a whole heap of uh, information. Uh, and, and over time, it's actually also asked me additional questions as it's learned more about what I do. And you can see here a bit of a feed of all of the information that it's gathered about me and my business over the last, uh, the last few days. Uh, it's asked me you know, to explain my coaching process. Uh, it's asked me you know, what I do to help uh, people improve their conversion rate in their sales process. So it's asked me quite a lot of questions and not all at the start, some of it's come as we've uh, as I've been using Sintra. So in addition to that, it also gets you to link your different tools to Sintra. So I've got my LinkedIn profile linked here. Uh, I've also got my Facebook and Instagram uh, linked and integrated with Sintra, Gmail, Google Calendar. It also works with the Microsoft suite of products, uh, Google Drive, and a few other things if you've got those as well, all right? And I'll explain to you why it's done that and how it can then talk to these tools on your behalf to help streamline things and help automate some of the processes. So that's really the setup. Then the main page, this is the home page. So the core of Sintra is really you get these 12 AI helpers or employees uh, in inverted commas to call on to help you with all sorts of questions that you have, uh, about your yeah about things that you want help with. Uh, so you've got people like business development, uh, data analysts, which can analyze uh, spreadsheets, reports, that type of thing, email marketing, uh, even a personal development um, employee uh, to help you improve your habits, uh, your diet, yeah, exercise, yeah, things that are unrelated to business, sales, copywriting. Uh, recruitment as well, an SEO specialist, social media, virtual assistant, and so on. Okay. Now, if you've used something like ChatGPT, this is very similar to ChatGPT. It's actually powered by ChatGPT4. But Sintra, the people who've developed Sintra, have really trained these 12 uh, AI bots to be specialists in each of these areas. Okay. Um, and you've also got a just a general tool up here. So let's say that let's say that I want um, uh, I need help um, with social post ideas. 
okay? Because you may not know which one of these to use. So it's all automatically, it's understood what I need done and it's opened up Soshi, Social Media Helper, um, and it's also, it's actually done some research already, it looks like. It knows that I, you know, say it says here, it knows that I work with um, businesses with, with between five and 50 staff. Um, it's search for some current business coaching trends to incorporate into this strategy. So it already knows about my business. So, so I was just showing a landscaping client of mine this. And if I was a landscaping client, it would then look at landscaping trends. It would know the types of landscaping customers that my client works with. And it would automatically come up with some post ideas based on that knowledge. Okay. Um, so, so that's what these helpers are. All right. So, so that's very similar to ChatGPT, but smarter because it understands a lot more about your business. And plus, these are specialists in different areas. Okay. So, so I don't need to go through that in too much detail. I think most people understand what um, you know ChatGPT does. But, um, but, but, but I'm using it for my own business. So I'm using it to really get advice, get some ideas, obviously write content. Uh, for my own business, but I'm also using it for clients. So I've actually, uh, just yesterday, uh, I went into Dexter. Now I won't show you the, the, the details of the financials, but there's a, a, a client of mine here that I loaded up their profit and loss statement for the last three years. Uh, and also the, the last month's profit and loss and the year to date. And it's done all of this fantastic analysis, comparing all of those years, uh, comparing the current performance with the forecast that uh, that I put in uh, as part of that. So there, there's a whole lot of tools here you can use. It's not just for copywriting, which a lot of people think um, is what ChatGPT is for. It can do a lot of analysis and help you through uh, business challenges, questions, and so on. All right, so so. As part of this, you know, these helpers, every day they come up with new ideas to help your business. So you can see here that there's 12 new ideas. So if I click on this, you can see quickly what their ideas are and you can tell it to go ahead and do that or not do that, all right? Uh, so, so she wants to create a business transformation Tuesday social media series. No, I don't need that because what I've done in the past, I've said yes, yes, yes. And then you spend a lot of time reviewing all of the work that they've done uh, and it, it may be unnecessary. Uh, so Pens wants to craft a from struggle to success client story. Sure, I'll go ahead with that one. Uh, Dexter wants to identify cross-selling opportunities within my client base. Uh, no, not interested. So you get the idea. Um, <clears throat> now the salesperson wants to develop a quick win consultation offer. Uh, sure. Um, business health dashboard, no. Um, mindful leadership tip series, no. I don't really focus a lot on mindset. It's my, you know, my focus is more around business, business management and 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 business strategy. Anyway, you get the idea. So, so those are the, you know, so it comes up with ideas for your business, virtually every day that you can uh, you can go through, and that also it's it's got ten more questions to ask me. Now I won't start this. But it'll ask me about, you know, to help clarify different things. Actually, I'll click on it as an example. Um, yep, not sure what's happened there. Let me go to that again. 10 new questions. Okay, uh, down here, answer guided questions. Uh, so example, what specific strategies do you employ to help client improve their team productivity? Uh, so I would go in there and explain what I do there. And it obviously learns more about my business so that it can provide uh, ideas and also be smarter when it is, uh, when it's thinking about um, how to help me. Okay. All right. So, so that's all great. Now, in addition to these bots or helpers, you also have these things called power-ups. 
And this has been a fantastic tool. So, for example, if I want to, I was actually playing with a uh, another. I was showing another client that does a, has a Pilates Pilates studio. Uh, so that's why this image is up. Uh, but let's say that um, I want to have a uh, create an image of a frustrated tradesman business owner. Um, so I work with quite a few trades. So let's, um, now it takes a little while to generate images, but, uh, but I'll explain to you what the, the, the power, the most powerful part of this I've found for social media posts. Okay. So you can see it looks pretty, you know, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty, uh, you know, pretty realistic. So let's say I want to, I'll save that. And then what I would do, there's so these power ups i'll just take you through these quickly again um, there's a whole heap of extra tools that you have that can do this sort of thing uh, there's some you know some ai tools for images trip planners uh, so each of these ai uh, helpers have different tools that they can use um, there's so i won't go through these all um, one example was one that i used for myself down here all the way down the bottom there is a one so for the social media specialist Xiaomi I got it to audit so this is an SEO auditor tool so I typed in my business um, website and you can see that it's called the profit coach and it has written a amazingly amazing report highlighting what's working for my website for SEO recommendations. So I actually sent this to my, um, my web developer uh, to, for him to have a look at. So, so if, you know, you can obviously do it for yourself. If you are a consultant like me, this is possibly something you could uh, use for your clients as well. Uh, so basically there's all of these tools called Power Ups, which help, um, you know, which is just additional tools to, uh, you know, to help you, you uh, with all sorts of things, okay? Now, back to the image that I created. <clears throat> there is There are some automations here, and this is probably the most important one because most businesses, you know, are doing some social media. So, so this, because it's linked to my Facebook, LinkedIn, LinkedIn account, Instagram, it can actually create posts for me. So let's say I wanna create a new post, and I'm gonna upload that image that I've just created so when I was going through this with my landscaping client, they obviously have a lot of real images that they've taken. So if you've already got images of your team or um, you know, your product or service out in the field or whatever you might do, you might have actual products that you're selling, uh, you can just upload it uh, and then say continue and then say um, frustrated tradesperson that needs help improving his business okay so it takes that image and and that little prompt that i've given it to help explain the image uh, and i suppose give it some context around the sort of content that i want to create and so as you can see it takes uh, it says around 45 seconds now these are previous ones i've done so ignore those ones I'll go I'll go down to the bottom to where it's just created these ones. Uh, so here it is for the Profit Coach Facebook page. You know, ever feel like a frustrated craftsman swapping one tool for another, still ending up with a cooked shelf, blah, blah, blah. So, so basically it's given me a business tip around this image. Um, same copy here. It's just created another image. Um, this is one for LinkedIn. It's used that same image, but a totally different set of uh, copy in the world of business every successful project starts with a detailed plan so you can see it understands what i do and then i can say yep i like that one um yeah another option with a different uh you know different image uh, and then for instagram it's something shorter you know feel like it, you know your business is a jigsaw puzzle with no corners cut the chaos um you know i, I might say yep i like that one 
And then you can schedule it. And it's added this to my schedule, okay? Now it's recommending the December the 25th, obviously it's a bit too far away, but then I can go in there and I can then edit that if I want to edit the content. And also change the date. Okay. So, so that is a fantastic tool to create content for social media in particular. Um, and I've used it, if I go back to some of the other things I've used it for, um, what's relevant here? Uh, I actually asked it yesterday, the sales uh, assistant. Um, as you could see, it asked me if I wanted to do a quick win consultation package, and it's already created that for me. Um, and I can have a look at this strategy. Now, I didn't ask for this. It prompted me as you saw earlier, uh, with ideas, and it's come up with a strategy that I can look at. Uh, but yesterday, I um, I actually went to it and said, I am terrible at asking for referrals from clients and contacts. <clears throat> and I, I gave it a uh, an example of what I was thinking of sending. Uh, it's come back and told me, it's very encouraging, which is fantastic. You know, it's great that you're taking steps to overcome this challenge. Uh, it's broken down that message and it's uh, it's given me some tips. It's given me uh, an alternative. And then I went backwards and forwards and said, you know, I, I just had a bit of a conversation with it, just like you would with an employee. Uh, it's come up with a different version uh, that, that's suitable for a text message. Um, then I've said, okay, well, this is what I'm thinking. So it's amazing how not only is it saving me time, but it's giving me much better ideas crafting things that I would that I couldn't do on my own okay so so anyway so that is my very quick um, overview of Sintra AI uh, I'm loving it um, I've already started recommending it to clients uh, as you can see you know it's super powerful it does take a bit to train it um, so there's quite a bit of investment. Uh, it's, I think it's ideal if you are a business owner that has, you know, that that is in the office a bit, um, and you can use this for yourself. Or if you've got admin staff, so a lot of my clients have, a, you know, a little bit larger, and they've got a, a key admin person in their in their office. This can really save them a heap of time. Um, you might even have an opportunity to bring in your, you know, bring your uh, social media in house instead of using an agency. Uh, but once again, that's a personal call because it means someone within your business would still need to be managing it. But a tool like this really helps. Um, but a whole heap of things that anyone in an admin sort of a role would really help uh, cut down their time. All right. So uh, if you have any questions about this or anything in business, uh, then feel free to reach out to me. Um, I think AI in general is going to be a game changer. And this is just one example of how uh, it's been designed for business and small businesses and entrepreneurs in particular, and how you can see some of the integrations that it's starting to uh, to develop. Uh, it's just going to get better over time and um, and and become smarter as well. All right, so uh, all the best. Reach out if you need need a hand with anything, and um, I'll uh, talk to you soon.